single parent. Um, I named him Havoc because I wanted him to be strong. Havoc definitely lives up to his name. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Me and Havoc live by ourselves with our two little dogs and our super cute black cat. They always say it takes a village, and that's so true. I'm moving to Charleston. It's close to my mom and all of my family. That's where everybody lives. If something is super cute, it's over. That's why I'm coming along. Let's go ahead and move this to the table. I'm looking to spend up to around $150,000. I'm ready, it's time. I've worked really hard to get here and I'm ready to start a new chapter with my son and my family by my side. First up, a house slightly outside the radius mom has set, but it's a 1948 charmer that Ashley might like. Well, this is it. It's right off the interstate. Right off the interstate. Not bad looking houses. They're so close together though. I mean, they're rubbing elbows. It's cute, it looks like a little cottage. Well, don't break the porch. Well, somebody's gonna break the porch. <laughs> little rickety, you could fix that. Hey guys. Hi. Hello. Gosh, I love the fireplace. Chris looks at everything. Ashley doesn't care. <laughs> Ashley wants to make sure it's cute. I'm really working with them, hoping to find that middle ground. The market right now, it's very difficult. In this price range, it goes like that. She will need to make a decision immediately to, to decide what she wants to do. These are new windows. Tank. New windows. New windows. They still got new roof. On them. New gutters. New roof. New roof. Oh, new gutters. Awesome. So it's a new house. It's a new house. It is really quirky. It is really cute. It's at the upper of your price range, 142.5. But with all the character that this house has, I figured it was worth a look at least. It seems like you're sacrificing a lot with the location. It is not as close as I would like it to be. Look at that. This That's is cute. Look at the ceiling. That's amazing. It looks fancy in here. It looks swanky. I do I like, like how it. much room there is. There's a lot of seating. I love the tile floor. Very resilient, easy to keep clean. Love it, already love it. Look how cute the doorknob is. I do love the doorknob. They door do knob. have the original I mean, doorknobs. I absolutely love these floors. Is it tile? What it is, is it? Tile. tile. I feel like it might be hard to wipe them down. But I'm well, okay. Why are you touching your walls in the bathroom? I, have you have you never had a six year old boy? <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> We're it, it. We need to wipe down the walls sometimes. Everything gets touched. <laughs> I love the inside, and then as soon as you step out the door, it's like the illusion is shattered. And we're here on the main street, like, looking at yeah, other people. Yeah, here's the traffic right now. I want to be able to be outside and relax and be close to nature and entertain. But then people are sitting in their houses looking out their windows, meeting your eye. But a place with a bigger yard has its own challenges. What do you think? Look at all this property. And the property, it actually has three parcels. Oh, so all it, of these trees? Yep. I'm not sure that you could maintain all this yard. Did I she really... mow it all when she was growing up? No. What? No. What Did do you, you mean? Did you? I spent so much time with a weed eater and a lawnmower, a push mower on a hillside. What are you talking about? I don't Girl. really trust her with power equipment. Did I just get gaslit by my mother? It was like a goat on the mountainside with the weed eater just. But I will say the house itself is a little bland for my taste. Okay. I don't really feel like it reflects my personality. It's on for 95. Wow. I don't think I've seen anything else on the market for this low of price. No, there's such a lack of inventory. They didn't have anything to price it against. There are other offers on the table right, right. now. Oh. So it's it's not something you're gonna be able to sit around and, and think about for a long time. Check it out. Oh, Ooh. wow. It has been refinished in here. New windows throughout, new appliances. And then look at all this cabinet space, Mom. There's a lot so of much more. space in here. I don't love the color of the cabinets or the counters, especially with the gray of the walls. It's not my favorite. But they're good quality cabinets. Is this supposed to be the living room? You could make it bonus area, living room, dining room. It's a little small. You could use this as an office space. 
Okay, I mean, I like the idea of a separated office space, but where would I put my living room? There's some other areas that I think you could work with. I'm obsessed with the yard. I mean, the yard might be my most favorite thing about the house. Mm -hmm. Realistically, it's very small, and I'd really like to see more space to grow into. Okay. Close to me, which I want. Yeah. It is a little plain Jane for my taste. Yeah. And if we could find something that's a little bit cuter, more of my personality in it, that okay. would be wonderful. Hello. Hi. It's so close. I know. You said you wanted to be close to mom. Is that close enough, mom? It literally took two minutes. <laughs> okay. I think it's okay. actually perfect. Ashley? It's very close. That is perfect. That may be too close. That's what I said. I was like, don't <laughs> wake me up. I don't think so. There's a lot of places that you can get to right around here just walking, which yes. I really like. I could have a porch swing and everything. That would be Absolutely. really nice. I love the door. I think you'll like the fireplace as you walk in. I will say the old house has the floors that are uneven, but they have uh, reinforced it in the basement and it is solid. It looks really wobbly. I don't think that it being a little uneven is a deal breaker. I like things that are a little different and weird. All the toys would roll over to this corner. <laughs> So you could just keep the toy box over here. I'm surprised, because I thought you'd be talking about how old houses need all this work. I or... think she's biased right now. <laughs> I, I think she likes the, 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 the distance. Just two minutes. I don't really love this backsplash so much. The kitchen itself is kind of small and closed off. This is a delivery kitchen. This is not a meal prep and cook type kitchen to me. But it is functional as far it as it's functional. easy cleanup, low maintenance on the tile there. Looks like new appliances. Mm -hmm. I think my mom is in love. Mom's definitely biased towards this house. Normally she goes in and starts pushing buttons and tapping on stuff and kicking stuff. And I think everything else kind of went out the window whenever she started swooning because it's right around the corner. This looks murdery. They uh -huh. have put new. Oh, this looks good. The new wiring, the new plumbing. Is there anything I would ever need down here or is this just your laundry? Oh, I like this room. It's cool how the ceiling is yeah. different pitches all through the house. Looks like it would be a really good office space. We got us a little deck back here. I mean, but while we were out here entertaining, we'd be looking at this. Yeah, what is we that? We can talk about thing. that. I think we could ask the seller if he would go ahead and remove it, to be honest with you. This is a really big lot. But yes. I really don't need big. But I need separate. It's a half a mile from me and a half a mile from your sister. And two feet from everybody else. Single mom Ashley wants to move to Charleston to be closer to her mom. But with other offers on the table, she needs to decide quickly. The furthest one from your house. I really love that house. It was a good cooking kitchen. There was that upstairs bedroom that I was in love with, That's... with its cute little wood nook. But then as soon as you step outside, it took a turn. Yeah. I mean, you were so close to the neighbors. There's not much yard to speak of. It's also the furthest one from your house, too. 20 minutes away. Now, the house on the hill, I don't think 12 to 15 minutes is hard. There is a lot of room for Havoc to play, and there's that fire pit that I loved. There is a little bit of seclusion there. But I thought it was a little basic. I wasn't really impressed with how cute it was. I just wonder if it would be big enough or it would be just a bit too small. I love that cute little craftsman house down the street. It is really big. It's got some unique features, but at the same time, it's got those weird wonky floors, and I don't really want to have to go down to the dungeon murder basement. But you are moving here to be closer to me. I mean, Havoc could call me and say, Nana, I'm hungry, and I could just run right up there and help him make a sandwich. I can see me and Havoc in any of those houses. Just pick the one that's going to make you happiest. Hey, Havoc, can you grab the marshmallows? I ended up choosing the house on the hill. There ended up being seven offers total on this house. 
It was like piranhas after a hunk of meat. Who's going to get the house? And I ended up having to pay $118,000 to win the bid. But it's still well within my comfort range. Here, can you put some in this box? Oh. <laughs> I was really determined that it had to be really cute and quirky. Um, but as time went on, I ended up choosing this house specifically because of the outdoor space. Having Havoc be able to have that freedom and being able to go outside and play and him being able to go to Nana's whenever he wants is his favorite thing in the world. She definitely spoils him. I'm not playing 300. 300? 300 s'mores? Ugh. It wouldn't be the first time. Even though the house is a little bit on the smaller side, I think it's perfect and cozy. Once I can get moved in and my own personal touches on it, I am gonna paint and then I wanna put a lot of trees and flowers on this front hill so that I don't have to worry about mowing it constantly. I wanna have a big garden so I can teach Havoc how to grow his own food. This is all stuff that can come with time.